Hello, my name's John and I'm here to read you a bedtime story about a duckling named Dennis who needs to find a family to help take care of him. This book is called Dennis and the Big Decisions by Paul Sambrook and illustrated by Tommaso Levente Tarni. Once upon a time, there was a little duckling called Dennis who lived with his mum and dad and little sister on a pond. His mum and dad couldn't look after Dennis and his little sister, so a grown-up duck called Annie took them to live with a family of ducks who lived on the river. After a while, Dennis and his little sister liked the duck family and they got used to living on the river, but they wanted to see their mum and dad and they missed their pond. Dennis and his sister wanted to know if they could go home and who would look after them. What's going to happen? asked Dennis. Dennis's mum and dad and Annie had to think hard about what would be the best thing for Dennis and his little sister. All the grown-up ducks knew they had big decisions to make. Where should Dennis and his little sister live? Who should look after them? And who should visit them? Annie thought they should ask a clever owl to help them decide. So they all went to the woods to talk to the clever owl, who listened very carefully. The clever owl wanted to know what Dennis and his little sister thought and how they felt. So the clever owl asked a helpful pigeon to go and talk to them. The helpful pigeon came to see Dennis and his little sister to find out what they thought and how they felt. She also talked to Dennis's mum and dad, to Annie, and to the ducks who were looking after Dennis and his little sister. The helpful pigeon now knew what Dennis and his little sister, and their mum and dad, and Annie, and the ducks who were looking after them wanted to happen. But not everyone wanted the same thing. So the pigeon and the grown-up ducks went to talk to the clever owl again. The clever owl listened carefully to what everyone wanted to say. The helpful pigeon explained what Dennis and his little sister thought and how they felt. The clever owl thought very hard about what would be best for Dennis and his little sister. Should Dennis and his little sister go back to their mum and dad on the pond? Would their mum and dad be able to look after them? Or should Dennis and his little sister stay with the ducks on the river? How long would they be able to stay there? Would their mum and dad be able to visit them? Or should Annie find a new mum and dad for Dennis and his little sister? How would the ducklings feel about having a new forever mum and dad? After lots of thinking, the clever owl told Dennis's mum and dad and Annie what would be best for Dennis and his little sister. Annie told Dennis and his little sister who would be looking after them and where they would be living. Dennis and his little sister felt happy and sad and also a bit scared. And so the clever owl asked Annie to go on visiting them and make sure they were looked after properly. Sometimes boys and girls are like Dennis and his little sister. Sometimes their own mums and dads can't look after them and they have to go and live with other people. When mums and dads and grown-ups can't decide what's best for boys and girls, they can ask a clever person called a judge, like the owl in the story, to help them. It's the judge's job to make big decisions about where children should live, whom they should live with, and who should visit them. To all the children watching, I hope you've enjoyed finding out about our friend Dennis the Duckling. And to all the parents watching, if you want to find out more about adoption, please contact Action for Children. We'd love to hear from you.